Hello, kids. I need some help uh, identifying some objects or some items. What have I got in here? I've got two of these. Does anyone know what these are? Numbers. Numbers. Almost. Legs. They're legs. They're legs, aren't they? They've two legs. All right. Awesome. Next two things. These? Good, I'm glad you can tell what my drawings are. Next thing. This thing? It's a head, yep. All right. This thing? Body. Yep, I'm going to go with the torso because it's not the whole body. When we put them all together, what do we get? A yeah, a person. And this person has a body. Yep. Now. That's right, two arms, two legs, and one head. Can a body walk? No. Maybe this, can't, this body can't walk properly, but a normal body can. But just two legs, can they walk? No. no. Why not? Yeah, Dan, why not? That's an awesome answer. Yep, that's right. So Dan's saying, really good answer, we need the brain in the head to tell our muscles what to do in our legs. Yeah, yeah, so we need the whole body. We, the, the back transfers the, the, the signals down. Can just one arm grab something? No. No, why not? There isn't a brain in the arm. That's, that's very true. All right. Can lungs, can lungs breathe just on their own? No. no. What do they need? The brain. And they actually need to be connected to the whole body. The whole body can't work unless you've got all the pieces there. One piece can't work on its own. And the heart and the brain and the lungs... It all needs to be connected. None of these pieces work on their own. Now, in the Bible, we're told all Christians, all followers of Jesus, are like one single body. Someone might be a leg. I'm not sure who. Someone might be an arm. We've all got a purpose, and we can't do it unless we're connected to the body and to the head. We're told that the head is Jesus. Now, what we were saying before, the head has the brain. It's the boss. It's the boss of the body. It tells us what to do. So I'm going to put, oh, thank you, Bernard, my little cross. No, no, crown. Not too many words similar. A little crown on Jesus to say he's the boss of the body. That means if you are an arm, or if you are a follower of Jesus in our body, you have to listen to what Jesus says. He's the boss of you. Okay, so since we're all connected to Jesus, what are some things that show that we are connected to him? What are some things we do? Yep, Dan? Yes, that's a good one. We can pray. So we can... We can ask as an arm, let's say. We can ask Jesus about things. We can thank him for stuff. That means we're connected. Anyone else got an idea? Yeah? No, that's, we forgot. That's all right. Anyone else? I'll give an idea. Yep, Seamus. We read the Bible. That's, that's Jesus' words that he tells us what to do, his commandments and all the stuff in the Bible. One more thing. It means we're all connected. Dan, do you reckon you've got it? Um, the, um, we do follow him. And I'll tell you, one thing 
that we do when we follow him is we come to church. When we come to church, we're all connected to everyone else here in the church and to Jesus. So if we're connected to Jesus, we'll come to church, we'll pray, and we'll read the Bible. I'm going to pray, and then we can get our kids' sheets. Dear God, thank you that we are connected to Jesus. Thank you that he is the boss of us. Um, we help. We, we pray that you will help us to read your Bible, to pray to you, and to come to church. Amen.